guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope all of you guys are safe and healthy and your families are safe and healthy. As you can see, I'm still like, you know, chilling in the quarantine, grateful to be healthy and alive and to have somewhere comfortable to be able to quarantine and all that kind of stuff. You know what I'm gonna say? If you guys are not subscribed, pause this video and press subscribe down below. Along with that, hit the bell notifications link so you guys know when a new video goes up. I've been trying to be more frequent with them. So just so you guys know, hit the bell notifications link. Today, I have a highly requested video, which I'm kind of shocked that it was so highly requested because I did an original video letting you guys know when I got Cooper, what that whole process was like, what it's been like. So I thought that that was gonna be, you know, okay, I thought you guys didn't care. But I've been having a lot of people ask me for an update a puppy update on just how things have been having him, what it's been like, what he's like, do I still recommend the breeder, all that stuff. So I figured what better to do than to just record one. So it's very, very informal. I had you guys submit different questions. So I'm just gonna kind of ramble and answer the questions as I go. So as of next week, Cooper will be one years old. His birthday is April 14th. The whole process with getting him was amazing. We have had no issues over the last year with him. No sicknesses, no weird funny stuff going on. Um, he has been the absolute perfect puppy like any human can ever imagine. He has been very, he's very calm compared to other dogs. He'll play with other dogs and we just see other dogs around and he is very, very calm and quiet compared to them. The only time he really barks is when he's trying to get your attention or if he wants something and like we have like full out conversations. He's very, very well behaved. He listens. He's one of the smartest dogs I've ever seen in my entire life. Um, come here, boo-boo. Bless you. Wanna get my video? Go get mommy kiss. I wish you guys could see what he's doing right now. So one of the questions that I got was, uh, is he a golden doodle or is he a labradoodle? And when I first did the video, I had it as a golden doodle, had him as a golden doodle. And it says, it says that in the first video. I thought that golden doodle and labradoodle were interchangeable. Hey, say hi to the camera. He's a labradoodle and you guys can look up the difference between the two. They're pretty much the same outside of their personalities being a tiny bit different and then the their fur is different. Um, so Cooper is an F1B, labradoodle another question i had was does he shed not at all like not even like not even like 0.5 like nothing he does not shed at all he is hyper hypoallergenic Corey and i both have allergies really really bad so that never well i have allergies bad you just not like shedding dolls I just don't like shedding. he just doesn't like shedding dolls i have um, allergies really bad, so it just never that never would have worked for me. Another question we had was, do we still recommend the breeder? And one thousand percent, we're actually getting another puppy. Hughes <laughs> celebration. <laughs> we're going to the same people. They are amazing. They still answer all of our questions. They're just amazing. And a lot of people have been asking, why do you go to a breeder? Why don't you adopt? Because it's what we wanted to do. And that's just that. Everybody does what works for them, what they want. And that's just my reason for doing what I wanted to do. I wanted to go to a breeder. I wanted a golden doodle, labradoodle. And these people were the most amazing people. Is he expensive? So to get Cooper, I want to say he was around 2,000, 2,500. So Corey watched Tiger King and he said Cooper was more than a tiger. We're not going to go there. As far as like the upkeep, so before I got a dog, everyone was like, oh, they're so expensive. Like, don't do it. Like just all this negativity. And for me, he has not been expensive at all. He goes to PetSmart for, or his health insurance is through Banfield and Banfield uh, Pet Hospital. And they are located in the PetSmart near us. It's been what, like $40 a month. And that includes all of his shots, all of his shots. What else does he get? All of his checkups. He has unlimited checkups so he can go if I ever feel like anything's wrong. I've never felt like anything was wrong with him. Um, I think he was scratching at one point and I took him and they were just like, 
That's just what dogs do, but it was towards the beginning, so I didn't really know how things moved. The only time he's ever like thrown up or anything was before we really taught him that like eating bark and stuff outside was bad, so he would just randomly throw it up. What other questions did you guys have? Was it like training him? Oh, what was it like training him? So he is very, very well trained. He understands, like, like I told you guys, he's very, very smart. Shay did most of the training as far as like teaching him tricks and stuff. As far as peeing on the mat, because I live in an apartment. So peeing on the mat, and I live on the third floor. So there was no like every five seconds taking you outside to go to the bathroom. So I trained him to use the mat. It was fairly easy, honestly. Like maybe the first couple weeks, maybe first couple months, we had um, some accidents but it was only because he was so young, like he's a baby. So you really have to be patient. But I would say in the last maybe six months, he hasn't really had any accidents at all. He goes on the mat, we give him the treats. When he does, like all of my family knows if you see him go on the mat, give him a treat. And since then he's been a pro at it. You're acting like you just filmed the video. Hey, son, son. Do you want a treat? <laughs> wow, get up, get up. Do you want a treat? Sit down. That's a good boy. Yeah, so training was, was fairly simple. Other stuff that Shay trained him was to sit, to, uh, you want to do it on the camera? Come here, fat boy. Here. He thinks I'm tricking him. He's so smart. Give me your paw. Good boy! That's so smart! I love it so much! Give mom a kiss. Give me a kiss. Okay. Guess I have messed up too much. Is he fixed and are we getting him fixed? You guys have seen me post multiple things asking you guys, what do you think? What's the best route? I have gotten everything from fixing does absolutely nothing to fixing, not fixing them gives them dog cancer. Like, it's literally like just the wi the widest spectrum. So I still don't know, I'm still lost. Um, I don't wanna get him fixed just because I just feel like he's living his life. Corey doesn't wanna get him fixed. He's living his life. He plays with other dogs who are fixed. So it's not like he can knock them up, Marley. I just wanna leave him as is, I don't know. I just feel like he's fine, he's not super hyper. When he does do his zooming, like he'll do it for a few minutes and then pass out and go to sleep. So he's not like ridiculously hyper where I'm like, let me just see if fixing him makes him more calm. I am interested to see when we do get a second puppy, just how that goes. If he like will stay this, <laughs> Corey's looking at me because he says he didn't agree to another puppy, but he did on multiple accounts. Other people have heard it. My parents have heard it. So, that's it, like we're getting another puppy and the mom is due next week. So yeah, that's just that. I don't know how this is gonna last. One thing that does worry me as far as like getting him fixed or not is the fact that he can't go to like doggy daycares. He can't, you know, do like the playgrounds and stuff with other dogs, like without us being there, without being fixed. So like dog hotels and babysitters and stuff. So we have to individually get babysitters and get people to watch him when we're out of town because he cannot go to any of those places, which I am fine with that. I had a puppy um, when I first moved to Dallas for a few months when I was still working corporate and I actually gave him to a stay at home mom because I was working nine hours a day, I would come back home for like an hour, let him out, and then I would head to shooting an hour away. So I was like doing the full-time influencing, full-time corporate, and it just, I felt terrible. So I gave him to a stay-at-home mom because I was like, you deserve the time to be a dog and be outside. And I also lived in an apartment. It was just a mess, which is why I waited until I, I was a full-time influencer and at home all day to get Cooper. So we have to find individual babysitters, which Shay is his godmother, so. I mean, with Cooper, but it does worry me with two dogs. But at that point, we'll just probably have to get a house sitter. But yeah, like I absolutely love Cooper. And you guys know, you've seen all the pictures, all the posts, everybody loves him. He's just an overall good dog. Come here, boo-boo. Come give mommy kids. <laughs> Go give mom a hug. I'm not trying to trick you, boy. 
Another one of the questions were, how long did it take to train him? And how, what's the longest that I've left him home by himself? I would say the longest I've left him home by himself is around four to five hours. I just always, anything longer than that scares me just because he is a baby. I have to remind myself that he is a dog and he's okay. I also, I feed him twice a day. That isn't a question that someone asked. I feed him twice a day, about a half a cup of food. And then, oh guys, I have an Amazon. Thank you, baby, for all the kisses. You're so sweet. That's my sweet baby. That was his way of saying, okay, you can put me down now. What was that? Oh, see? I knew it. I knew it. I have an Amazon cart of all of my puppy must have. So I have Coop's food on there, some toys that he has, um, the mats that I use, the Kong that we have, all different types of stuff, things that I got when he first came, and then also stuff that I realized I needed after the fact. I also have the crate. So the crate that you guys see, the clear one, which he doesn't mind it, but he's just not a crate dog anymore. We leave him out now and he just lives his very best life, which is still hard for me to accept, but whatever. But the crate is from Clearly Loved Pets. They have all different sizes. They have all different, um, you know, you can make it in different shapes and things like that. So that's also a question that a lot of people had. And then back to how long did it take for me to train him? I would say a few months. He, to this day, well, he's never slept in the bed with me. Shay lets him sleep in the bed with her. I think the first time, the first few nights that I got him, I tried to make him sleep in the crate and it was like complete hell. Like he was not having it. That was really the only time where I was like this, is something that I'm trying to train him to do and be okay with and it's just not working. But other than that, just going to the bathroom and different things, it only took a few months, if that. Maybe like two, two-ish, two and a half months. The key is to start them right away. If, and you have to be consistent, you have to be consistent and you can't be all over the place. Like they have to know this is the time that this happens. This is what I do with this ha when this happens. And I'll also link some videos that I watched um, as far as training puppies before I got Cooper. Also, someone asked if he eats people food. Don't do that. Now, for his regular meals, he eats, you know, his dog food. I started giving him like fruit here and there, just as like, you know, a special treat. He's a good dog. And my parents snuck and gave him steak once. That's really where the decline went and they ruined him. But he's not like annoying, annoying. Would you say, look who's right here. Would you say he's annoying when it comes to other people eating? Well, he knows he doesn't get any people food off of me. So no, Did but not nah, for real. <laughs> wow. But no, nah, he, he'll try you once or twice trying to get some food. And then it's like, okay, fine. I'll go back to my dog food and he also like i feel like he knows that if he just chills he'll probably get something but when he's annoying he knows it's not happening so like he'll he'll like try you for a second especially if you're somebody new to see if like you'll give in and then after that he'll just sit down and he knows that i'll be like oh you're such a good boy you're not being annoying here so yeah that's really it i hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know in the comments if there's anything else that you guys have questions about I will keep you guys posted on our new puppy. <laughs> I'll keep you guys posted on our new puppy and how amazing of a good big brother you're gonna be, right, Boo Boo? And that's it. I love you guys. Make sure you're following me on Pinterest, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, all that stuff. Also, make sure you're following Cooper. He would love that. He takes really, really good photos. He even like poses now and he knows that after he stays still for the photo, he's gonna get a treat. So we've raised a star. Um, I love you guys. Peace out.